Hey guys, Norm from Tested, still here at the Pepcom Digital Experience event. Uh, pretty much seen everything, not too, ex not too exciting. Whoa, 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 on it. So what is this? This looks amazing. This is the Mint Automatic Floor Cleaner. Uh, it's from Evolution Robotics. It's designed for cleaning hard surface floors. But more importantly, it dances. Why does it dance? Because other robots can't dance and we're better than other robots. We're showing off that it dances because uh, it actually, Mint is intelligent. It actually has a navigation system. Actually three of them. They can track where it cleans. And using that cleaning system, we basically uh, coordinate a dance uh, to a song. And you can see Mint actually has a lot of precision in terms of its ability. Now what we use that for is we use that to track where it cleans so we don't miss spots. But the fun part is to send a bunch of robots out to a beat, have them dance and do some cool moves. You know, parents used to play music and have their children put on footies to dance and clean the floor. Now you can have a robot do it. That's awesome. How much is this? $199 uh, for one robot. Uh, we haven't come up with the dance robot price yet. Robots, microfiber, and hardwood floors. Things I approve of. Awesome. Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I am here, uh, Digital Experience, at the Roomba booth, the iRobot booth. Okay, so the, the brand new thing is the scuba. What's the scuba? Is it a, some sort of diving under the sea type thing or? Uh... It's actually a floor washing robot, so it's okay. a replacement to a mop. So hardwood floors, uh, linoleum, stuff like that. That's tile. Tile, exactly. Okay. So this is the Scuba 230, and uh, it's the world's most compact uh, floor washing robot. It is tiny, I mean, it's I could palm that almost. It's uh, six and a half inches in diameter and about three and a half inches high. When you first uh, start the product, right, you want to fill it with, uh, with with water and cleaning solution. Okay. And so the active reservoir is full of just clean solution. The robot puts down the clean solution, scrubs it, and then squeegees it out. So the dirty solution comes back in into the same volume, but with the active reservoir, while you're using the same volume to store both clean and dirty solution, they never get mixed with each other. Got it. Okay. Uh, and this is available now. It'll be available in the spring. And how much is it going to cost? This will be $299.99. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jerry. It was great to meet you. I'm at the LG booth looking at the HomeBot. This is the third home cleaning robot that we've seen at CES so far. I have hands on. This thing is really cool. The big difference between this and a Roomba is it uses optical sensors to tell exactly where it is in the room instead of a more traditional bumping into stuff sensor. So you can actually look at the at the at the cameras as you're driving around, see the shape of the room that it has detected, and uh, even monitor monitor what's going on inside your house during the day when you're not around, which I think is totally rad. I want to know what Chloe does during the day. Monitoring. I'm checking it out. I can look. I can drive around. I mean, that is totally cool. Uh, and then, of course, you know, I, I'm not going to make it home from work in time to feed Chloe. I'm going to feed the pet right now. Bam. Feeding the pet. Food. Oh, I just made a giant mess. But um, food dumps out of that big black box in the corner. Chloe will not go hungry. This robot is totally rad. Test it. I'm Will. See you guys later. Hello, puppy. I am Homebot. I am Homebot. I am so lonely. Why must I feed this puppy every day? Where is Will?